Hey there, Norman here from WoCode, and today we're going to be taking a look at the FX Lively Text widget. The FX Lively Text widget allows you to apply a number of effects to text. Each effect offers a bold, moving, stylized way to display impactful text. It's great for headlines or any other important text throughout your site. Here in the builder, we have our Digi Store template, and I'd like to add the FX Lively Text widget right here in the hero to replace this plain static text that says VR Gaming in order to give a little bit more life to this page and capture the site visitor's attention. If we take a look at our preview site here, we can see exactly what we'll be recreating today, and we can see that the FX Lively Text widget is creating that nice additional layer of depth in the hero section and creating an attention-grabbing effect. Let's jump back into the builder and get started. First thing we're going to do is open up our widgets panel, grab our FX Lively Text widget, and drag and drop that right into the hero section. Next, we can close this and delete this VR games text as we're not going to need that anymore. All right, let's take a look at how to set this widget up. And here in the content tab, there are a number of options starting at the top and working our way down. The first one we have is the unique ID field. This field should be used when there are more than one lively text widgets on the same page. Below that, we have our text effect. This dropdown provides five different text effects. And for this example, we want to use the sliding door option. We can see that the text has been changed to black, so it's difficult to see against that background. We'll jump quickly into the design tab, open up the text styling. In here, we'll find all the normal text styling options we're used to. We could change that to white and jump back into our content tab and continue down. Below that, we have the text field. This is where you will enter the text that will be visible within the lively text widget. For this example, we want to change this to say VR games. There we go. Below that, we have our alternate mobile text toggle. When enabled, this makes the mobile text field visible within the content panel. Let's enable that. And here is the mobile text field that I was referring to. When visible, the mobile text field allows you to add mobile specific text to the widget. With this text field, you can apply a line break between words by simply using the enter key. This is useful for when you have multiple words that don't fit on the screen on a smaller mobile device. So instead of having the lively text widget be cut off, you can simply enable this setting. So let me show you an example of that. We'll disable this. We'll go to our mobile layout. And as we can see, that's being cut off on the side. So if we open up the widget here, we add alternate mobile text. We can see here that we have that nice line break and that text fits much better on the mobile device. Let's jump back into the desktop here and continue. So that is all for the content tab. Let's jump into the design tab and take a look at how to style this widget. Here in the design tab, we have quite a number of options available. Most are specific to each text effect that the widget offers. In this video, we'll be going over a few options pertaining to our example using the sliding door effect. However, for a in-depth explanation for what each design option does, I definitely recommend checking out our training doc for the FX Lively Text widget. With that said, let's start at the top here and work our way down. The first option we have here is the line padding vertical and line padding horizontal options. These two options will control the vertical and horizontal padding around the text. Below that, we have the text styling option panel, which we already jumped into briefly to change the color. This is all your normal text styling options that you're used to. Below that, we have multiple options available for each text effect. We're using the sliding door effect, so we want to jump in and take a look at those options. Starting from the top, working our way down, we have divisions. This sets how many slices will occur in the text during the animation. 
Below this, we have the division's width. That sets how large the slices of text will be when they animate in and out. Next, we have animate horizontally. When enabled, this will animate the text in horizontally instead of vertically. We can see that in effect here. We'll disable that and move on down to flip direction. When enabled, this will flip the direction of the animation. So let's enable that. Now we can see it's coming in from the top down. Let's disable that and it'll go back to bottom up. And last, we have animation speed, which sets the speed of the animation. I think 20 as the default looks great in this example. With that said, let's go ahead and preview this page. And as we can see right here at the top of the page, we have our FX lively text widget looking great. It adds a nice subtle animation to the page, which really adds quite a bit of layer and depth to this otherwise static page. Also, be sure to check out our FX widget sections available in the sections panel for an ever growing list of pre styled and ready to use sections featuring many of our FX widgets. And that is all for the FX Lively Text widget. As you can see, it's a very simple widget, but one that can be used to add additional depth to any site. That said, my name is Norm Durkee, and you've been rocking with the best website builder platform on the planet, wocode.com. And until next time, and as always, if you have any questions, please reach out to support. We're always here to help.